Hi everyone. Um, firstly, thank you so much for everyone who has donated um, to my hopefully quite worthy cause of randomly losing my hair. Um, I started off with a target of £100, thinking it would be lovely if we got that, and we're now over a £1,000, and that's just amazing. And the support has been incredible. So thank you, everybody who has put their hand in their pockets and donated to two brilliant charities. Firstly, to Alopecia UK, um, who has been a great support to me over the last two months. And um, secondly, to Tommy's, um, who has been a support um, about two years ago and um, do incredible work. So I'd like to firstly start by saying thank you. Secondly, my um, hair loss has randomly coincided with Alopecia UK's um, Alopecia Awareness Month of September. So as you can see, I'm wearing my T-shirt, Alopecia UK. And so I thought as part of what I'm doing next week, which is shaving my hair off, um, I thought it was only fair really to show everybody how alopecia does can affect people. I'm one of the lucky ones in many ways. Um, I've not lost my eyelashes, which sounds really silly that that's important to me, but I was really concerned about that. Um, I have lost one of my eyebrows, which you can see this one has gone. This one is very light, but it is there still, but this one is completely bald. Um, so that was is the area that's affected me facially. I've lost, you won't be able to see, but I've lost all my hair on my arms. Um, I would put my leg in the air, but you probably wouldn't want to see that. Um, and also a significant part of my hair on my head, which I'll show you in a second. Some people lose everything um, from top, head to toe. They lose all of their hair. I've not been one of those people. And of course, some people lose their hair for some very... So for awful reasons, because they're going through chemotherapy, um, because um, they are going through horrendous treatment, and just to top it all off, they also lose their hair, which I'm every day grateful that's not that's not happening to me. That being said, it's not an easy journey. Um, I've gone through the worst of it, I think, I hope, um, and um, coming out the other end of choosing my wig and learning how to actually put a headscarf on without it falling off in the rain in the middle of Woodbridge. Um, and I'm actually quite looking forward to shaving my head next next week and finally, um, I suppose, accepting, accepting the disease and, and what it is. I might have my hair back in a year. I might never have it back. We we just don't know. Um, but um, for now, this is where I am. So I'm going to take my headscarf off, which is quite a big thing for me. Um, not many people have seen me without my headscarf. So um, off off we go. So this is. My current style, which is very in fashion for anybody who wants it, it's the slightly mad scientist look. Um, I'm going over with the classic comb over. So go to your hairdressers and ask for that. You can, you're welcome to take a photo of me for it. Um, so as you can see, I have a little bit on the top, um, and I have a lovely area around the side, which is all going next week. This part. I have some little tufts of where it's grown back, so this is a nice little tuft. But this part, for example, is completely, completely bald. Like, it feels quite nice, actually, but um, completely bald. Um, so, yes, it has affected quite a lot of my hair, really. Um, and you probably understand why I don't go out looking like this. But I just, as I say, wanted to show you what alopecia does do, how it affects people. If you haven't already donated and you feel that you would like to, please do. I've put the link in um, in my comments. Um, if you don't, I completely understand. It's just amazing how far we've got already. If you see me in the street, if you want to ask me any questions, please ask away. Um, I want to try and raise awareness, not only for me, um, but for anybody else who is suffering. And I would really love at some point that when I walk down the street with my lovely bald head, that people don't look at me strangely. But um, that, I think, is a long way off for a lot of us. But thank you again for all your support. Have a lovely weekend, and um, thanks again.